When I was just a little girl, I asked my mother, what will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? What comes next? What comes next? Oh, will I be rich, which is almost pretty, depending on where you shop. And the pretty question infects from conception, passing blood and breath into cells. The word hangs from our mother's hearts in a shrill, a fluorescent floodlight of worry. Will I be wanted? Worthy? Pretty? For millennia, society has placed a burden of beauty on women. Many of us make the mistake of chasing after outward beauty rather than inner beauty. And in our struggle to achieve it, we find nothing but shattered self-esteem. Katie McKay warns us of this pain and emptiness in her poem, Pretty. But puberty left me this fun house, mirror dry ad, teeth set at science fiction angles, face donkey long, crooked nose, and pox marked where the hormones went finger painting. Oh, my poor mother. How could this happen? You'll have porcelain skin as soon as we can see a dermatologist. You sucked your thumb when you were little. That's why your teeth look like that. You got hit in the face with a frisbee when you were six. Otherwise, your nose would have been fine. Just don't worry. We'll get it all fixed. She would say, grabbing my face, twisting it this way and that, as if it were a cabbage she might buy. But this is not about her. Not her fault that she too was raised to believe that the greatest asset she could bestow upon her awkward little girl was a marketable appearance. So by 16, I was tickled by ointments, medications, peroxides, teeth corralled into steel prongs, laying in a hospital bed, face packed with gauze, cushioning the brand new nose the surgeon had carved. Belly gorged on two pints of my own blood I had swallowed under anesthesia, and every convulsive twist like my body screaming at me from the inside out, what? Did you let them do to you? And all the while, this never ending chorus, groaning on and on like the ivy needle, dripping liquid beauty into my blood. Will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? Like my mother, unwrapping the gift wrap to reveal the bouquet of daughter her $10,000 had bought her. Pretty? Pretty. And now I have not seen my own face in 10 years. But this is not about me. This is about the self-mutilating circus we have painted ourselves clowns in about women who will prowl 30 stores in six malls to find the right cocktail dress, but haven't a clue where to find fulfillment or how to wear joy, wandering through life, shackled to a shopping bag, hiding beneath those two pretty syllables. This. This is about my own someday daughter. When you come to me already stunned, stayed with insecurities, begging, Mom, will I be pretty? Will I be pretty? I will wipe that question from your mouth like cheap lipstick and answer, no. Because the word pretty is unworthy of everything you will become, and no daughter of mine will be contained in five letters. You will be pretty intelligent, pretty creative, pretty amazing, but you will never be merely pretty. We live in an era where women have more opportunity than ever before. 
but we still need the security of self-esteem in order to rise to our full potential. To those women who still struggle to find it, John Jorgensen assures them of their value. In his poem, Who You Are. You are beautiful, smart, funny, kind, and unique. You are worthy of love and affection. You are never too much, and you are always enough. You are precious. You are a diamond, a rose, a pearl, the most stunning of all God's creations. You are worth more than you could ever imagine. Worth more than the numbers on the scale, or the hair product you use, or the shoes you wear. More than how many girls wish they were you, or how many guys wish they had you. More than the price tags on your clothes, or the percentage at the top of your math test. Your worth surpasses all earthly things, because in the eyes of the Lord, your God, you are loved, and you are worth dying for regardless of who you think you are, whether you model in a magazine or model pottery with grandma, whether you're on the hot list or the not list, whether you are head cheerleader or a high school dropout, whether you are Miss Popular or you've never had anyone you could call a friend, whether you love yourself and love your life or you can't stand to look at yourself in the mirror and you feel as if everything in your life is falling apart, whether you're such a winner or you feel like the world's biggest failure, regardless of who you think you are, the reality is that you deserve someone who would give up their life for you. Because inside each and every one of you is a woman with incredible power, strength, and world-changing capability. And your responsibility is to find that woman and to set that woman free. This is who you are. And any voices in your mind that try to tell you differently are from the enemy. And the next time you hear one, this is what you say. You say, oh, oh, oh no, not me, Satan, because I am a daughter of the living God, cherished, loved, and adored above all things by the creator of all things for the glory of him who is greater than all things. I am awesome. And please, don't you forget it.